I'm Bill Corso, and I'm the makeup designer supervisor for Destroyer. There's an intimacy that's really exciting between, you know, me, the makeup artist, you know, who's designing looks with the actor and with the director. And, you know, Karen just expressed how, how passionate she was about, you know, what she wanted to see in the movie. And, and that was really exciting, you know, to, to take beautiful people and, and to see what the, the decisions that happen occur during the course of the story does to them uh, physically, you know, like obviously emotionally, you know, which um, is great for them to play. But she really wanted to see what happens to people, you know, when you, when you go, you take the wrong path. It's such an exciting opportunity to be able to take an actor and show a progression of time and the ravages of time and the ravages of bad choices. Karen and Nicole and I, we had a conversation um, about who they thought the character was and, and you know, what they envisioned. Nicole was just very excited by the prospect of playing that type of person. And, and I could picture that person in the script. Like all of a sudden, like Belle became like a real figure, you know, and, and, and the decision was, well, let's figure out what all the current day, all the, all the uh, modern day versions of these characters are, and then we'll figure out, well, then we'll work backwards and figure out what are the younger versions of all these characters are. Tatiana um, was the kind of actress, she's such a chameleon, you know, having played multiple characters before, but she could play really young, and I knew with the right makeup we could play her older and harder. We had come up with this young, pretty party girl look, you know, like this, um, you know, the rich girl gone bad, you know, um, and then to come up with this hard, you know, kind of grizzled, you know, bad teeth, drug addict teeth and everything. Uh, it was so exciting for Tatiana to, to use all that and play with it. Ultimately, I think it's great if the audience, when the audience first sees her, that they, um, that they see this character that they see Belle, um, uh, and they're not looking at Nicole Kidman. The fascinating thing about what we're doing with her look is, you know, it's not like we're doing a bunch of stuff on her. You know, it's, it's, it's just a very raw, gritty kind of look, a makeup. And, and adding the little things I'm adding, um, again, it could be a normal, average, everyday person walking down the street. The, the, the very irony being, when she has the makeup on, she could literally just walk around and nobody knows it's her, which is a wonderful thing. There is quite a bit of work that goes into making her look like somebody who's not really wearing makeup. There's uh, an arc in the movie where she, she starts to get sicker and unhealthy, and we have to portray that you know, with her look and in her makeup. And, so, and sometimes during the day, we go back and forth. Um, so, so, you know, it's all carefully tracked and, you know, we try to keep, uh, you know, we try to maintain a very close eye on like, you know, is she healthier in this scene? Is she sicker? Is she paler? Is she a little warmer? Um, so uh, how tired is she, you know? Um, so, so there's always that layer. When an opportunity like this comes across and an actress like Nicole is, is very excited about it and involved to the point where she says, yes, I want to do this. I want to go there and I want to, you know, as, as much of a struggle as it is to sit there and get the stuff applied to me every day and go through this process. It's so satisfying, you know, and, and she was such a great collaborator and, and so happy to have the look and, you know, and, and, you know, whenever you see them showing it off and they're proud of it, you know, that's, that's really gratifying. I've never had the good fortune to work with a female director. So uh, I was very excited by that prospect. And again, I, I'm surrounded in my life by very strong-willed uh, women. And, and I was very much looking forward to having, hopefully, that kind of um, perspective on a movie. And I was very curious to see how that would play out. Um, and so it's been fascinating watching Karen, you know, direct and get involved and, and her perspective on things and her thought process. She's a good director, and and uh, and I've I've loved her work, and I like what she does, and and I I think she's got a, an an amazing future. So it's just great to be part of that.